Hello everybody, making a sandwich. It's a very personal experience for everyone. I personally like my recipe better than most people. So let's enjoy this magical journey together. Hopefully that is an adequate angle. My phone kind of sucks balls. Suck my balls! Present them! <laughs> alright, so first of all, we do this shit for real, alright? I'm gonna give myself a nice wrapper paper towel. It has apples and pears on it and other fun stuff. Give us some light. Let there be light. Let us shine down upon the sandwich kingdom. All right. So the most important thing when you're doing anything like this, you need to have a sponsor. Today it's Miller High Life. provided by my local liquor store. We're gonna start off here with some Texas toast. I like Texas toast because it's good for toast. It's good for white bread. Sandwiches because it's more durable. Look at that fucking piece of bread right there. Can you see that right there? Look how thick that is. That's bigger than my finger. It's not gonna smear when you put you know, peanut butter on it or anything. It'll hold up to the test of sandwich time. All right, and today I'm gonna feel a little gutsy. We're going all out today, guys. So any sandwich really, it really does start with the bread. So I'm just doing the American uh, classic, the white bread, Texas toast. And then I think from there, it really goes to the mustard. And one of my favorite mustards, Golden Spicy Brown. Give it a stir. Nice dollop, or whatever fun word you want to call it. Yeah. I love Goldens. It tastes so good. Mmm. Uh, fucking banging. Man, it's like the best mustard ever. Dijon's pretty good though too. I like Dijon a lot. I even just like yellow mustard. I'm just a fan of mustard. Grey Poupin. Alright, so cheese selection is very important. It really does go like internally. Make or break the sandwich. I like to keep it real. And I'm a, key, a creature of habit, so. Pepper Jack. What I've selected. It's definitely one of my favorite cheese. I like this brand too because I think it's really good and it's like $2.50. It's like definitely the cheapest like pre-packaged uh, sandwich deli cheese at the grocery store and it's super good and I think it's you know they could sell for more than that. Those are the people make those little baby bells. Those things are banging. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get that piece of pepper jack right there. We'll save that one for the side. Now comes the fun part. What meats are we using? We're, like I said, we're going balls to the wall today, so we've got a lot of stuff. Butterball, oven roasted turkey. Oscar Mayer, cracked black pepper. You know that's going to be legit. And smoked ham. these bad boys open. This is all fresh too. That's the best part about having your own TV show. Everything comes in fresh. We're not treated like bitches. So we're ready to go. We're in action. We've got a little bit of turkey. This turkey probably sucks too, but whatever. It will do for today's purposes of making a fucking huge sandwich. I go with the folded half style instead of laying them out thin. I like my sandwich to kind of 
plump up and fluff up. You'll see what I mean at the end. My sandwich has a very distinct look to it. So what I do is I just kind of fold it. Like that one's pretty big, so maybe I'll fold it in half again. And that way too, it's portioning too. You're not just throwing people like it. Now I'm actually physically counting how many we got on there. I'm gonna put five on there. Build a good base. Build a very good base. Six, I guess. Boom, we'll even that bitch out. All right. We're done with that for right now. Because I'm using two turkeys and I'm mildly OCD, I can't put two turkeys next to each other. So we're going to have to throw a ham on top of this turkey. Oscar Mayer smoked ham. I like uh, like regular meat from the deli. I think it's better, but you can get some like decent pre-cut stuff. This stuff's better than that butterball crap. It just looks better. Let's try that. Yeah. Mm. Wash it down once again, sponsored by Miller High Life today. All right, so we're going to continue on, just keep folding them in halves. But we're going to change it up. We're going to crop wise. And we still have one more additional meat to put on, so we don't have to go like balls to the wall and do six slices. I'll do a solid four, though. That's worthy to throw down. Oh my gosh, and see, this is why sandwiches kick ass, because inspiration just struck me. I remember I put this piece of bread to the side, or this piece of cheese to the side. We're making a killer sandwich, so we're going to kick it old school. And we're just going to throw in curveball. Check that shit out. This is going to be the fucking Big Mac Cadillac of sandwiches. Mac Daddy. And, once again, like I said, I'm kind of anal. So, what we're going to do? We're going to put this like this. On that side. Just drop my cheese. Lay it down. Put a little more mustard on this side. And because there's a piece of cheese on this side, we'll throw it right here. Boom. We're back in business, guys. We are back in fucking business. Now, crack black pepper turkey. This is going to be the best part of the sandwich. If I can get it open. Bend to open. The person who invented this should be donkey punched. See, and then it doesn't even open. It doesn't matter. We have technology. Nothing will hold us down. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks okay. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Oh, yeah. Boom. So we're just gonna fold that like that. 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 Boom! Look at that beezy. Oh sheezy! That is going to be a sandwich. You think we're done? Who the hell knows? Because making a sandwich is all about inspiration. That's the important thing, guys. If you're not free to make your own sandwich, then what the fuck are you free to do? And unfortunately, wait, no. Oh, word. Yeah. Trying to find something here and I can't seem to locate it. Damn. Here we go. Now, I can't find any pre cut ones, so I'm going to have to make some real quick. That's all right, though. I'm all about spice and flavor. 
and keep it your gangster. Because if you're not gangster, what are you? If you're not gangster, you're just a bitch. That's what Snoop always taught me. These, my mom sent them to me. My mom and I are like complete banana pepper whores. These things from California, they were fucking good. Usually though, like I just have banana uh, peppers like, ready to go just because I eat them a lot. But I don't. Curveball though, we're going to throw some of these guys on there. Keep that shit gangster. Classy. Look at this guy though. I'm going to eat that one. Save that guy. I just don't want it to be too wet. Get it all over the bread. Boom. 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 All right. Wait till you see this. Oh my god. My Tupperware container is not big enough for this. Look at that sandwich. Okay, everyone says I have a pretty big hand. There you see a sandwich. Okay, that's my hand. And sandwich. Like that's a pretty big fucking sandwich. Just four fingers stretched out. Holy god. Like this is the Tupperware container I would have been. Like it's not huge, but it's not small. That thing is huge. <laughs> it's as big as the Tupperware. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and place this guy in here. Place this over him. That is a sandwich, man. I mean, you feel this thing like there's, there's some density to it. All right, we're just gonna put the top on. Just kind of let it condense down, let it chill out. That pepper. Oh. Mm. Look pretty hot too. All right, so that's basically it. I've really enjoyed this magical journey with you guys. Sponsored by Miller High Life. I've also uh, got some other people chipping in on this one. Marlboro hooking us up with some promotional goods. Texas Toast, Golden's Mustard, Bruno's Peppers. We're going to go over here. I think I'm going to finish today's meal. Cheddar and sour cream. Lays. Brew cup, can't even see right now, brew cup and a special K blueberry, oh, check this shit out, like I'm totally into this whole Greek yogurt thing, I think everyone is, though. It's awesome. I like this shit though, this shit's banging, that was passion fruit, that was my favorite, this shit looks like sweet, anything, like we're Americans, we're fooled by anything, if it doesn't have, like if you can't read it, you know what it says, buy it. You know it's going to be good. Alright, so the sandwich is going to press down just a smidgen. Take a look at this. Nice. Nice. Look at that definition. I'm going to take a bite of this right now, actually. Oh, mm, God. Yeah. Yeah. Can't even bite into it. Mm-hmm. That's a good sandwich. Alright. So we're going to wrap him back up. Put him back in here. Go ahead and pour some lays in that bitch. 
And that's it. That's how I make lunch. Keep it simple, but keep it fucking tasty, man. And don't let anyone tell you sandwiches are the greatest freedom of expression we have in this American land.